Hello all, in this tutorial uh, you'll be learning hide field from image. Uh, it's a tool from uh, Rhinosaurus 3D. So basically what it does is uh, from an image you can create a topology surface. It's like a rough topology surface. It's, it's not an exact. So let's start uh, creating that. So coming to Rhino and uh, so we get that tool from surface and the height field from image right so it's uh, if you select that it asks uh, an image so you need to download an image so we i know a website uh, called terrain party and uh, this is a website like terrain.party So this is how the interface looks like and uh, if you zoom out you'll be com uh, getting complete world map. So you'll be getting uh, a layers here kind of layers and if you change it uh, you, you, you can also see, see what uh, like a shaded uh, type of uh, image. It downloads only one type of image, but it uh, for to to see that kind of uh, image. Like if you go to this top, topography image, it takes so much of time. I just opened before, and it comes like this. So you can take a particular uh, place by seeing from this image. So let me keep this OpenStreetMaps. OpenStreetMaps is a, a separate website. You'll be getting the uh, complete data of. Uh, a particular position uh, place like roads rails everything water bodies green areas forest everything we'll get the tutorial in the next video uh, how to create a 2d uh, urban city and let me let me start take a video uh, sorry uh, let me take a, a, a place and You can even search here. It automatically uh, goes there, and we keep somewhere in Malayas and over here. And here, if you see, least is eight kilometer radius, and uh, maximum you'll be getting up to like thirty, more than you're getting like fifty, I think. Oh yeah. We are getting more than yeah max is 60 so let me keep something like small 30, yeah, 30 radius and you can download this from here and uh, you can name it you can download it so I have uh, some of the downloaded files uh, we'll go through that and uh, we can uh, let's go to uh, Rhino and uh, start the tool how it works. So hide field from image, and when you download, so let's uh, do with this. Yeah. So when you download, you'll be getting these uh, images here. Let me just uh, um, go through this. So these are the images and uh, this is a file you'll be getting a readme. So it says that uh, something like this is uh, a coordination of it. Coordinates, the center coordinates and uh, this image has been taken like 30 meter uh, resolution. And uh, these uh, they are, there are four images what they gave and they, they have given the description of it yeah so so far uh, we we uh, get these images and to make the surface uh, in rhino uh, i i prefer this merged image because uh, these other uh, the other three of it it's like uh, more not uh, gives more uh, clarity so i can i want to take that and you can uh, it's uh, I have taken as I have taken uh, something in this case I have taken 18 kilometer radius so let me just uh, do something like 1800 length 
so it, now it is asking like uh, number of samples samples is like isocurls uh, in this case like let me keep 200 200 and the height also 200 and uh, I don't want to touch for now I'll just show you what it is and okay so it is saying that uh, your file will be crashed so let me yeah uh, yeah this is what uh, the surface you'll be getting if you go to share render or share that it takes more time so in that case let me just uh, go to surface and use this tool again and this merge and something 800 enter and let me take this to 200 and 200 and uh, this is something like 150 even though it's asking because maybe the size it's like uh, 1800 and it's all, also it's in meters so let me save this here yeah you got this uh, surface here and if you go to shade it so whatever complex surfaces you'll be getting so better you go to wireframe and uh, you do it and in render you'll be getting this kind of uh, surfaces so if you do that if, if you increase the size and also height it takes more time more time to uh, load so in that case let me just uh, scale this out so you'll be getting this kind of a surface which is not more detailed so uh, so if you want to know uh, which is like more if you want more detail let me go again with that tool and you can go with merge here and click somewhere and 1800 enter and this I want something like 400 and 400 if you use this uh, samples more uh, you'll be getting more detail okay so if you see in this surface before what we done uh, all that the surface is made with the grid so I'm keeping that grid as a, like a 400 400 and also this as a 400 yeah and uh, I want uh, this image to set as a texture and also mesh so let's see what happens and okay see how much how fast it is so this is the image what i got uh, i think yeah this is the image what i got right if you it's it's very fast so if you see this is a mesh one mesh and uh, uh, so it's uh, these divisions are actually isocurls so this this mesh so this is a mesh so it's uh, just a wireframe here we can say as a wireframe not a isocurls so these divisions are actually 400 here and if you see here these are like something i kept uh, 200 i think so this will be more detailed than this if you uh, let me just uh, keep this uh, image uh, let me increase the height of it just here and, 1800. and let me keep this like 400 okay. yeah, you see this now so as I kept that uh, image texture so the scale the complete height i got 400 if you use bounding box command and uh, you'll be getting this box here and if you see this height it's like almost like 400 uh, so it takes like that okay so according to this uh, black and white image the black goes down and white comes up so as you see here all right so these are the mounts and these are the valleys and uh, 
and also uh, if the, the, these uh, surface is for only conceptual not for the perfect uh, uh, topography so if you want for perfect topography we will do that uh, uh, another video uh, so you'll uh, you can work uh, that uh, exercise for your projects so that will be more precise so so if uh, uh, this uh, uh, this tutorial can actually help you with some of the co uh, competitions and so you can uh, build somewhere some uh, a space here and you can take a render of it with a complete view so if in in uh, lumion if you import this image directly uh, in lumion 10 if you import this directly so you'll be getting uh, directly a topography with a perfect height so i don't know how uh, the lumion is actually taking the perfect height so this is how the tool works so that's it uh, for this tutorial so follow us in uh, insta mystical studio and uh, our website www.mrcostudio.in thank you so much